This is Sylvan uh, from Starboard. I did my introduction last time. Um, uh, did a quick walkthrough of like some products that we were actively building. And today I'm really excited to have this chance to share some more details on how our products can help analyze some of the most important metrics of the Filecoin network. So generally, uh, we're trying to provide um, analytics and insights of the Filecoin network on different dimensions and also from multiple perspectives so that these analytics can fit into various use cases and also meet different user demands. So we're trying to help people understand the network on uh, the macro level, uh, the actor level, and also the deal level. And on the macro level, uh, we provide the Falcon uh, Network Health Dashboard that displays uh, important metrics regarding network usage and also uh, growth statistics. So you can check information on uh, Falcon storage states, certain supply, gas, deals, and also economics through different charts. And also, this, uh, this data analytics are open source on our observable page, so people can just fork the notebook and conduct their own analysis if they feel needed. And on the actor level, uh, we have two products. First is the storage provider economics calculator, which simulates network dynamics to project economics and returns for providing web free storage services on Filecoin. Uh, it helps storage providers and their investors to quickly gauge profitability and also break even cycles based on various network and onboarding assumptions. So uh, that was also like um, uh, uh, displayed uh, uh, when, when Stefan was doing his uh, um, uh, presentation. Uh, we also have the Storage Provider Reputation Dashboard, or SPRD for short, to showcase some on-chain activities of storage providers and help storage clients discover their counterparties for storage deals. And this product aims to encourage good SP behaviors on Filecoin, enhance service quality, and also promote the collective brand of Filecoin. And lastly, on the deal level, we're actively working on a Filecoin deal analytics dashboard that displays the relationship among storage clients, storage providers, and also Falcon Plus notaries through graph database visualizations. And this will serve as a very useful tool to improve client experience with uh, SP discovery and also to help uh, identify some potential suspicious activities around deal making. And now uh, I'm going to uh, use a couple of cases, use cases to demonstrate how our products can actually bring value. So as we all know, uh, Falcon deals have seen significant growth recently. And in this use case, I want to understand what is actually driving the Falcon deal adoption. And so I'll just go to the Falcon Network Health Dashboard. Uh, I'll click on the deal section and there are some instant insights I can see. So first we can see that uh, it's actually the Falcon Plus deals that are mainly driving the recent growth as over 80% 80, 80 of newly committed deals are in Falcon Plus. And we can also find that the deal count actually goes up faster than the deal size, meaning that there are a lot of smaller sizes uh, deal driving up the overall growth. And it reflects a wider user adoption rather than if we only have like a few clients pumping in like really large deals. And also if we're interested in who are the top clients recently, uh, we can check on the pie chart and see a breakdown of all the client deals um, that have been added to the network. And as Falcon is gradually transitioning into a web free data economy, um, having a vibrant marketplace for deal making is very important. And in this use case, I am a storage client and I want to choose the right counterparty to enter into a storage deal transaction. And the product I would go to is SPRD, which displayed, uh, displays uh, reputation metrics of storage provider based on their own chain activities. So first I would just go to the deals and retrieval metric to identify story providers who are actually uh, actively taking deals and providing retrieval services. And after that, I will double check on the storage reliability section to filter SPs who are good with maintaining sectors from termination or fault. Uh, I can also click on the SP profile to see its uh, detailed information. Now I, I, I have uh, two storage providers that are actually quite close in reputation score. But I just cannot decide which one I should pick. So, Hold on, don't, no worries. Uh, we have the SP head to head comparison function for you to compare every aspect of the SP side by side. So you can see the SP on the right has actually never had a sector termination. And maybe I'll just go with that guy. Uh, we can follow the same rationale if I were a uh, lending investor looking to provide funding for SP growth. 
So in that case, I would just go to the capacity growth section to see who are the fast growing SPs that might need capital. And then I would check both the storage reliability section and the gas efficiency section, uh, as I don't really want my uh, SPs to get like slashed all the time. And also in the upcoming months, uh, we will also include like off-chain reputation metrics, uh, client feedback, and also like client SP interaction features on SBRD. And most importantly, we'll incorporate deal-making features on SBRD. So you will be able to make deals directly with SBRD soon. Uh, last use case uh, would just be uh, very straightforward. So I'll just keep this succinct. Uh, in, in this use case, I'm just like a new storage provider uh, trying to understand what's my uh, return profile uh, for providing storage on Filecoin. And in this case, I will just use the RI calculator and input all the network and storage onboarding assumptions. Uh, and then uh, you will just populate a projected income statement over the storage providing period. Uh, it can be reported either in fiat currency or in fuel. It also shows the on-chain rewards and vesting schedule over the forecast period. And also this, this the, 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 the prediction and the code uh, is also open source on observable. So on top of all our products, we also publish tweets, uh, blogs, and also research reports that address some of the most important topics of the Falcon Network. Uh, we provide weekly Falcon Network updates and also event discussions through these channels as well. So please do follow our Twitter accounts uh, and also visit our website for more Falcon insights. And I really hope this deep dive is very useful to you. And please reach out to us should you have any questions or any feedback. Uh, I'm on Falcon Slack as Sylvan. Uh, I hope I hope all of you have a good day or like a good rest of your night. Thank you. Sylvan, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, this is just absolutely transformational. Uh, if you were in a Web2 context, you would never, ever get this kind of data if you were storing on a centralized storage provider, right? All of this would be behind closed walls. It would be behind proprietary tech if you're storing on something like AWS or Google Cloud. But with Networks like Filecoin, all of this data is public on the blockchain, able to be analyzed. And that just opens up all sorts of new use cases and possibilities. Um, and the Starboard team um, is, you know, you're just making a lot of this data super easy to interpret and very actionable for anyone who's uh, intending to use the Filecoin network for one use case or another. So uh, huge thank you to Starboard and welcome to the Ecosystem Working Group. We're absolutely delighted to, to have you on board.